Hi everybody, it's me, Tracy, again, here with another DIY. Today, we're going to talk about these trays again. There's a lot of my older community who can't get out to get the wide format printers um, for their reefs, for their trays. But I want to let them know that they can still make these trays without having to do the big prints. So I had my tray here and I had it spray painted. I spray painted this plum color and I'm going to put this picture on it. So it's pretty much the same way as the other one. You need a brush, you need glue, large podge glue. And I found these nice things, but it does depend on what you want to do for the for your trees. So I'd like to say thank you for everybody for subscribing to my channel for watching my videos for all the beautiful diva reefs and clocks and oh my gosh y'all just doing the damn thing ain't you <laughs> y'all doing it up i tell you it is so nice i'm so glad everybody out here making some money now you know doing what they gotta do i'm just very happy so this is for my older ladies so they can make these trays too. So I print this picture out. This picture is it's a 9.2 by 6. It fits perfectly in the middle here. So what I suggest is to round off the edges a little bit so it can give a better fit. When I first doing when I start first doing rolling trays, it was about four years ago, and I called it the Black Collection because all my trays were were spray painted black, and then I put the picture in the middle. I mean, people didn't really care that it was black; they really liked it. I've sold a lot of trays, so if you round the edges off after you print your picture, let me say the the that again. It is 9.2. You can do a regular, you can do the 9.6. So you can do 9.6. I use the Cricut machine to size my picture. And I didn't do the sticker paper because sometimes that's hard to get to for our older community people. You know, they're on a budget. We don't want them spending a whole lot of money. We want them to make money, not spend money. So I'm going to do this the same way, pretty much the same. I'm going to give it some Mod Podge at the bottom here. And we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to spray paint it first. Because if you put the picture on it without a little bit of uh, color on the bottom, then the silver will bleed in. It's not plus it looks nicer when you put the color on top of it. Well, I cut on top of it. So, the Facebook group, the first book group is Crafting Together as One. We use the number one. So, sign up for this for the Facebook group so you can answer all your questions. I've noticed I have a lot of friend requests to be on my Facebook. I, I went from 200 people to almost a thousand something people, and Facebook shut it down for a while. So, and then I can't really get to everybody on Facebook, which is a lot. So if you sign up for that group, I will put everybody in the group. Everybody can come post their pictures. You can leave the link for your businesses in there. Um, we help each other in there. The people are very, you know, they answer your questions. So, and a lot of people say they really like the group. So... Sign up for that group, ask your questions, get your pictures. So this is a, it's in there now. I put the picture in. So the phone calls I got was from my older community and they wants to do trays too. So even though a lot of y'all making them, just know there's still people in our older community and other parts of the world who cannot get the supplies to do the reefs. So. I've talked to so many people. I've done some random phone calls when they ask me questions. So I'll just do some random phone calls and call people <laughs> out the blue. 
They seem to like that. Then we sit and we talk. Like, we know each other for a long time. People are very nice and friendly to me. And I like that. So this is just the, the first layer. So we're going to let this first layer dry. And then we're going to do up to three layers. Because everything I do, if I'm doing it by paper like this, is going to be up to three layers. Don't worry about too much of the glue around the edging because it's going to dry clear. And once you put the, the resin on it, you won't see it. And if you can't use resin, there's a lot of other choices that you can use, like um, thickener, acetones, or some other things that you can use. So, I'll be back when it's time to do the next layer. So it's been a few minutes blowing in front of the fan and um, the picture is in there. It's stuck. It's not bubbles. I'm just going to add another layer to it and then you're going to add your resin to it. And you don't have to watch pods. I have a lot of it. I pretty much use Mod Podge for everything. So we're gonna put that on there. We're gonna let this dry again. And then you will add the resin on it. Paper can be added to pretty much anything. So the crafting group again is Crafting Together as one. It's on Facebook. Um, sign up for the group so you can get your pictures for for some of the other projects that I've done. Sign up for the group for your questions to be ask, answered. Get your pictures. See the beautiful work that everybody's doing just from watching the videos. I mean, when I say they're nice, they're nice. And everybody can learn a lot from the people in the group because everybody's doing something different so we learn from each other so this is the second layer i like to do three layers every time i do a tray and i do i still do trays in this manner but i use black sometimes i use black and then i use pictures with black outlines to put them in the middle but this is for the this is for the video this is for my older ladies who wants to make some trays. So I'll be back. So I've done three layers and then I'm gonna add my resin to let y'all see that when you put the resin on top of this paper, even though it's been glued inside, it's still gonna give you the same shiny effect as all. So I'm not gonna use a little bit. I'm gonna put Maybe one tablespoon in there. One tablespoon of resin in there. In this cup. You can get these cups from, from Dollar Tree in the party section. So that's one tablespoon in there. Then I'm going to use the B. The B is a clear coating casting. And B, I guess it helps to harden it, but gonna put one in there make sure you always put the same amount in each cup because you don't want to have you want it to dry up so that looks like about the same amount and we're just gonna mix these two together and pour it in there make sure you have your stick available and you don't need to they said mix for about five minutes but you don't have to exactly do five minutes as long as you get that clear look that you're going for. So just mix it, mix it, mix it. Now, after about 30 minutes, this is going to smell. So if you can't take the smell, take this thing, this tray when you finish putting the resin in it, take it because while you're mixing it, I don't smell anything. But once it starts curing after about 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most, it's going to start stinking. So a lot of times when I do these, 
for people, I have to put them, do them at night, put the resin on at night before I go to sleep because of the smell. Or I'll put it in a basement. So just mix it up a few seconds. You don't even need a whole lot. And we're going to pour it in here. So basically I was like two ounces. Because I use one ounce for each one. So there's always ways of doing things. When I first started trays, starting about three years, three years, four years, there was a big hit. Everybody wanted trays, trays, trays. And I didn't have a wide format printer. I had a regular printer, and I was using it for making them all like this, black outlines. If I made this a black outline, it would have been different, but I couldn't make it a black outline for this video because I didn't have any more black spray paint. The weather's been really bad. And nobody's really going out like that. I hope y'all safe and, and where y'all at because there's so much going on with these storms and everything. I talked to one 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 lady and she said it's kind of messed up her craft stuff. It messed up her house. Like so, I'm praying that everybody is safe out there. We have some storms, but we don't have them as bad as everybody else. So please be safe. You know, if you have to leave your home, leave your home, which is not easy for a lot of people. But just try to be safe out there. So this project is for my, my ladies who can't get out and get the wide format printers for these large full rolling trays. I want to let them know that they can also not only put them on those cups, but they can put them on these trays when you receive them from your Dollar Tree. And once this co co um once this dry, it's gonna dry as a very clear coat. So there you go, ladies. Thank you for your phone calls. I hope I answer everybody's question. And um, you said you want to make rolling trays. You don't have wide format printer. Here you go. Add some paper, some Mod Podge, a little bit of resin, some thickening or whatever you want to put on top of it to give it the glaze. Put a picture inside. Trace a round circle picture or black. You can spray paint them. Sometimes I spray paint the inside to cover the pictures up. Spray paint them. These is nice. I found these at my Dollar Tree. Isn't they nice? Look at that. It's got a clear top. You put a picture around here. Yay. I got to stay at them stores. So, I hope my ladies like it. My older ladies. Now, y'all can make some trays too. Yes, I told you. You can put them on them cups. You can put them anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. So, sign up for my group. Crafting Together is one. Me and Denise, she's the administrator. She lets you in. Um, I've noticed there are a lot of people who've been actually be in a group that don't have pictures on their face. There's a lot of hacking going around. Somebody already hacked my Instagram. People have been trying to get into my Facebook ever since I set up the YouTube channel. So if you don't have a picture on your on your name, like where your picture belongs at, we might not let you in. Because of all the hacking and everything that's going on right now since I started the YouTube channel. Um, for as friends requests, I would like for you to just be in my group. Be in, be in, uh, be in my group. My, it's geared to my channel. You can ask all your questions. It's easier. I can go there and answer the questions as opposed to on my, on my regular Facebook page. So, and now everybody who's on my Facebook page who who does the crafting should be in the group too. And if I can't get to all y'all questions, I apologize. There's a, a high volume of phone calls that's coming through. A high volume of texts and messaging and that's coming through. And I'm only one person. So, I hope you like it. Stay tuned for the next DIY.